Welcome to The Real News. I'm Eddie Conway coming to you from Baltimore. Thanks for joining me again for Rattling of the Bars. This is part two of a segment and we are going to look at the national prison strike that was organized and the national prison march in Washington that's being organized. And joining me is Crystal Roundtree, one of the organizers. Uh, Crystal, uh, yes. thanks for joining me. Um, uh, the last segment we talked about your organization and what you were doing. Uh, now I need to know what is it that you all plan to do networking through the country uh, for this uh, march in uh, Washington, D.C.? Kind of explain it to me, what the march is about and who's involved. Absolutely. Um, the Millions for Prisoners Human Rights March on Washington will be taking place August 19th of this year. Um, we're so excited. August is just around the corner from now. This has been something that has been in the works for over a year and a half at this point. Um, this was the idea um, directly for the, from the prisoners themselves. Um, uh, you know, the idea is to address issues that the prison class face, specifically um, as it relates to prison slavery, um, allowed by the 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. You know, the goals of the march, we have two demands specifically. Uh, the first demand is that the exception clause be removed from the 13th Amendment. The second demand of ours is to demand a congressional hearing take place um, to recognize that uh, as it stands, this is currently a human rights violation. Um, so we're, we're working with um, legislators, lobbyists, et cetera, to take this where it needs to go so we can be successful. Um, it is important to know that this is not just a march. We have goals, tangible goals that we are trying to accomplish. Uh, we're trying to change the constitution. And as uh, you can imagine, this is a huge, humongous undertaking. This is a people-powered grass roots, grassroots, I'm sorry, movement. And so it really has required um, uh, the people to get involved, to do their part, to support this. Um, and, and, and I'm proud to say that this is growing. It is turning into a national movement at this point. Um, it's long overdue. And as I mentioned before in your first segment, this is not a new issue, um, but it is something in 2017, there is absolutely no reason why uh, slavery is still legal in this country for certain classes of people, particularly the prison class. Well, tell me, tell, tell me, uh, Crystal, who, what other organizations is helping you? I know you uh, uh, have the support of I Am We, uh, which is your organization. Who else is involved? Who's helping you? There are, uh, at this point, there are, are over 50 organizations that have uh, joined our solidarity list. Um, feel free to check out our uh, website, IamWeUbuntu.com. That entire list is listed there on our website, and that list continues to grow. Some of the people that have been involved right from the start, uh, for instance, would be George Jackson University. We also have the support of um, the Black Lives Matter Charleston chapter involved in this. We have the uh, support of the US Human Rights Network involved with this. And the list um, goes on and it does continue to grow. We've actually been amazed by the organizations, the groups, and the individuals that have come out in support of this. Um, I think something um, about this march is that this specific issue is something that we all can rally around. We can all agree on this cause. Um, and so our um, allies are a diverse collective of individuals from all races, from all backgrounds, united in this cause to end legalized slavery uh, here in this country. Okay, well, where, where in 
Washington, D.C. are you going to be and what time? Uh, the date is the 19th, obviously, but what time are you going to be there and exactly where are you going to be? We will be hosting this demonstration on the National Mall. It is slated to begin at 12 noon through 5 p.m. In addition to um, the march taking place in Washington, D.C., there are several solidarity demonstrations that will be taking place um, throughout the country, and we hope internationally as well. August the 19th, we want the entire world to know, regardless of where you are, that this is a day that we collectively stand up for the prisoners and address the human rights violations that are taking place um, in this country and now internationally. Okay, well, well is, it, is it possible that maybe in a week or two I could talk to somebody uh, that's working with you that could kind of explain the uh, details of the 13th Amendment and what's actually involved in trying to uh, get that exclusionary clause removed? Absolutely. You know, my hat is off to all of the abolitionists, to all of the individuals, and we have some really great and knowledgeable people involved here in this movement, and so it would be um, wonderful if we could highlight some of those individuals um, to give a deeper understanding into the 13th Amendment and what it is specifically that we are fighting for and why. Mm -hmm. and I guess one final question is like the, the Free Alabama Movement, which uh, played a key role in that national strike uh, last year, uh, are they involved, engaged, uh, working with you? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, there is an inside component and there is an outside component to this movement. Mm -hmm. um, and as I mentioned in the beginning, it was originated by the prisoners. And so we have a collective of prisoners, including the Free Alabama Movement, that are organizing and in solidarity with this event. Some of those groups include Free Alabama, the Jailhouse Lawyers Speak, the Free Ohio Movement, unheard voices, amend the 13th. Um, and so, you know, we're at a point in history, um, as we call it, this is the evolution of the prison resistance movement. This is a new face here where we are working together, the inside forces with the outside forces to really make this happen. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to be a part of this. Um, I'm humbled by the opportunity to represent the prisoners in this fashion. And again, this is a march with a goal and a mission and a purpose. And majority of the work will actually take place after the march. Um, so I just I just wanted to share that with you. Okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm going to try to follow this, and I'm certainly going to get back in touch with you and see if we can have somebody that can explain the details of the 13th Amendment uh, issue and, and, and why it needs to be changed. Uh, and so, but if something comes up before then, can you kind of keep me posted and we can look at it? I absolutely will keep you posted. And, and you know, with this movement, things are changing often um, and, and new people are coming along often and new faces are coming along often. And, and um, so things do change rapidly. Um, but I will certainly keep you and, and the, the folks at the Real News informed of what's going on with the Millions for Prisoners Human Rights March. Okay, thanks, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining the Real News.